He seems ordinary. Gray hair, tan jacket, slacks, unassuming. A pedestrian among pedestrians making his way through Denver's Capitol Hill neighborhood. Here he is sharing a crosswalk with a woman. It's safe to say this man hates her simply because of the color of her skin. And she has no idea who's standing next to her. James Nolan Mason, age 67, longtime neo-Nazi, and most recently, an advisor to a militant extremist group known as Adam Waffen. An international neo-Nazi group whose members see themselves as soldiers gearing up for a race war. James Mason is a key figure within this movement. Joanna Mendelssohn investigates Adam Waffen and James Mason's influence for the Anti-Defamation League, starting with a book of Mason's writings called Siege. Siege is essentially the blueprint for action, coupling together the ideology of Adolf Hitler along with the belief system of serial killer Charles Manson. Mason is an Adam Waffen icon. Here he is posing among Adam Waffen members in masks and fatigues. Mason's even wearing an Adam Waffen patch. According to the Counter Extremism Project, a nonprofit that tracks extremist groups, Adam Waffen is connected to five killings across America, including Sam Woodward, charged for fatally stabbing a 19-year-old gay Jewish man. And just this month... The two men we're talking about had tactical gear, assault rifles, and buckets of ammo. Adam Waffen members were arrested in Texas. But every clip they had was completely loaded, like they were ready to go do something right then. Law enforcement should absolutely take a close look at those who are embracing siege culture. Enter the directory code. Zero, two, three. Are you gonna knock on the door for us? Yeah. Tell them Jeremy with Nine News is here. Okay. While prolific online, Mason doesn't like journalists. Mr. Mason. I wrote to him. He declined an interview in a typed letter saying he's not interested in media exposure for purely tactical reasons. I eventually approached Mason in a West Colfax parking lot. Hello. Mr. Mason, Mr. Oh, oh, how, are you? how are you doing, man? I got nothing to say, pal. Good, nothing good, to say. Good. Hey, well, I don't f don't f with me, Dad. Yeah. Hey, I don't I don't want to I don't want to cause any problem. Well, I got You're a pretty to prominent say. figure within the yeah. white supremacist movement, and I want to ask you some questions. I mean, the one I, question I, I do want to ask answer you, them, though. the one question I do want to ask you is, do you feel any responsibility for the young people that have turned violent? None at all. You don't. No. No. None whatsoever. What should happen following the turn of the 21st century? And yet, from his Section 8 apartment, Mason spreads Adam Waffen's message online around the world. Or young people should bring forth the Adam Waffen division. A lot of people take your words and they're acting violent based on your words. If they were acting on my words, they wouldn't be doing the things they're doing, throwing their lives away. I say, and here I am talking to you, but yeah. I say, don't do it. But if you're going to do it, for God's sake, do it right. That's a pretty bold statement. Well, I've said it to the FBI. I've said it to Denver detectives. It's nothing illegal. It only makes sense. So do you endorse violence by proxy then? Is that what I'm hearing from you? I'm simply saying that we have a society that's going crazy. It sounds like a lot of people, when they watch this, they're going to think that you're crazy by saying no, things like care. that. No, I don't care. Oh, I've, been, I've, I've had that all my life. What do I care? A seemingly quiet life that is now dependent on the charity of others when he's not counseling men in camouflage. A few days before I encountered Mason, I watched him get a free lunch at a center for homeless seniors and then go shopping for a bag of peanuts at a Denver grocery store. You, you have views where you believe the U.S. government should be overthrown, yet you're relying on the charity of others. And potentially Potentially the charity of guerrilla, taxpayer. Guerrilla yeah. warfare, man. Guerrilla warfare. You got to take what you have to get what you need. Okay? That's okay. Chairman Mao. I'm sure you don't have any bad words for him. While Mason attempts to distance himself from Adam Waffen publicly, he doesn't shy away from his thoughts on how they should listen to him. There is no doubt that he dances the line between saying I'm not associated with this group and yet showing all the markers that indicate that he is fully embedded with this neo-Nazi organization, Adam Waffen. There's a lot of young men that are inspired by your writings who want to commit violence. Mm -hmm. what and do if, you they're, say to if that? they're listening to me and I do podcasts, and I do a website, and I'll tell you again, I say don't do it. Yeah, but you did say, you did indicate that you do endorse this by proxy, though. 
No, I'm saying don't do it by you proxy said, or any other you way. You said to do it right. If you've got to do it, it seems like if you must do it, yeah. it seems to me to be only common sense that you'd want to do it right because it's the end of your life. You may die out there in the street via SWAT team or you may spend the rest of your life in the joint. Make it count for God's sake. That's only common sense. That's all I'm saying. Denver police and the Denver FBI will not say if they have had any contact with James Mason. Denver police do confirm, though, there have been some police reports generated that contain Mason's name, but they will not release those reports because of a pending investigation, they say. He's a lot of talk. Does he have a criminal background? Yes, he does. Mason was charged in the 1990s for a sex crime against a child. That charge was dropped, but at the time, he was convicted of felony menacing and busted on parole violations. By our count here, Mason did three stints in prison for a total of three years in Colorado. For not having anything to say, he talked to you for a while. He talked a lot. And, you know, it's the reality of hate in, in Denver. This guy mm -hmm. lives in the heart of Denver. Thank you, Jeremy. Appreciate it.